You're watching Satledge TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been accused of overseeing an unfolding tragedy in Manipur, as he instead focuses his attention on raising his profile at the inauguration of India's new parliament over the weekend. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh proclaimed on social media that 25 days after Manipur started burning, things had turned from bad to worse as Union Home Minister Amit Shah was due to arrive shortly in the region's capital Imphal. As authorities struggle to contain the violence that has been ongoing since early May, a delegation led by the Congress President will call upon President Drupadi Murmu tomorrow regarding the situation in the state. Despite Article 355 being imposed, there's a total and complete breakdown of law and order and administration in the state, Ramesh said on Twitter. Article 355 is an emergency provision in India's constitution allowing central government to intervene to maintain law and order in any state. Referring to yesterday's inauguration of parliament in New Delhi, Ramesh added that the situation was a horrific tragedy unfolding, while the Prime Minister was obsessed about what he called Modi's self-coronation. He continued to state that there had not been a single appeal of peace issued by Modi, nor had there been any genuine outreach to rebuild trust between communities. In the meantime, authorities have begun actively clamping down on violence in the area, with Chief Minister of Manipur, Biran Singh, reporting that nearly 40 armed militants involved in torching houses and firing at civilians had been killed by security forces, as a result of operations aimed at bringing peace to the region. More than 70 people have now been killed in the border region in ongoing clashes between the mostly Hindu Mai Tai people, who make up around 53% of the population, and mostly Christian Kuki and Naga tribes, who make up around 40%. After Article 355 was imposed, thousands of troops were deployed earlier this month to restore order, with around 23,000 residents fleeing their homes as the violence erupted. Clashes started after the Mai Tai people were awarded scheduled tribe status, guaranteeing them government jobs and college admissions. You've been watching Satledge TV News and you can find more stories in detail on our channel, that's Satnet News. So it's worth clicking on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And don't forget, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below or indeed drop us a direct message at message at satledgetv.com. I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. For Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London.